What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you guys some really, really cool ink transitions because I've actually found these and I thought that would be a great idea because you guys absolutely love transition videos like previous ones from years ago to until this day and just something that can spice up your editing, you know, instead of using like boring, for example, jump cuts or like just these regular ones that are in Vegas Pro, the standard ones. You don't need any plugins for that. I want to mention that. So if you guys are wondering what we're covering today, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is basically the transitions we'll be covering today. No plugins required whatsoever. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. I would say let's get started making these really cool ink transitions, of course, right after the intro. All right, guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 18, right now, I'll also leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and download this effect, as you can see, with all kinds of different ink splatters. They can just download straight away and import in your project. So I'm going to show you guys exactly right now how to use this because you have to do some pre-rendering in order to be able to use this effect. So, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we will be able to see through this black ink. So we're going to start off by going to the video effects tab, which is right here. And then we're going to go down to brightness and contrast we're going to drag the default preset onto the ink clip right here and we're going to bring up the contrast quite a lot i would say to put the contrast on around between 0 0.600 and 0 0.700 that should be good enough but you can also crank it up all the way if you want to if you want to have like this really really sharp ink stain so we're going to close out that window for a second and then we're going to make sure that we will be able to see through the black ink so of course it's going to be on the top track because you want to have that one on a different track than your regular video that you will be seeing through the ink stain so what we need to do is we need to go to the compositing mode icon, which is on the very left of the screen of the ink track. And you want to set that one to screen. You know, if I move up this clip, we can now see through it. And now you would think that you would, for example, use the chroma key to get out the white. But I'm going to show you guys what happens if you do that. So if I put the default chroma key on the clip and I'm going to set this color to white right now. And if I'm going to enable it, as you can see right now, we don't see anything. And that's because we need to first render this clip without a chroma key with the white border. And then we need the chroma key that Y clip out of the rendered video. So first I'm going to choose which one I'm going to use. I think this one from the middle looks pretty nice. So I'm going to go up a few frames and then I'm going to make sure it's starting all the way when it's white like that. All right. So now we're going to match it up with this clip. So let's play it back. As you can see right now, you can see through the ink stain, but you can also make the stain a lot bigger if you want to. So if you want to resize this one, you want to go to the track motion icon of that ink track and you just want to resize this guy a lot bigger, for example, like that, position it a little bit. And now if I play it back, this is what it looks like. And you can see a lot more through the actual ink screen or the transition. Of course, it's going to cut out right here, as you can see to the next one. So we're going to trim that down until the next one starts, but we still have this white one and it just randomly disappears. We don't have like it's going full screen. So how to fix that is just resize this ink track until it's completely out of the screen and then you can just add in a fade out so let's play it back right now so that looks like a really really cool ink transition that we can now render out with the white because that is how you want to get it out in the next section all right so now that we've done that we're gonna go and select everything we want to export then we're gonna hit file hit render as and you want to of course pick the highest render settings that you always use so i'm gonna render out this clip let's say i'm gonna call this ink without c K from chroma key and now we're gonna hit render okay guys so right now it's rendering it's only taking like 30 seconds because this is a really really short clip so i'll come back to you guys with you know the final touches when this one is finished exporting all right so the rendering is done so i'm gonna drag that rendered file in vegas pro this is the rendered file that we just made i'm gonna trim off this guy because i just rendered one black frame with it so now that we've done that this is what it looks like and now the only thing we need to do is get rid of the white so first before we're gonna remove the white from this ink stain we need to make sure that we will have a video lay underneath it of course this is some studio footage so let's say after this guitar shot we're gonna fade into that next one so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna have this one overlaying in the studio because everything that we will be keying out in term in terms of like whiteness of this shot will be transparent so if you don't have any video laying underneath the transition while that is running it will turn to black so make sure that you always have some footage below that track all right so the last thing that we need to do is go to the chroma key drag on the default onto our clip that we just 
export it, you want to uncheck the chroma key for a second. So click on this colored bar, then put this pencil icon on the preview screen to pick the white color. And then we want to re-enable the chroma key and let's play it back right now. As you can see right now, that looks really, really cool. And this is how you can create like a really cool ink stain effect or an ink transition. We have some white edges around these splashes. So what we need to do is we need to just bring up the low threshold just a little bit to get rid of these just like that and also bring down the high threshold. And that's how you can do it. And now if I play it back, this is what it looks like without any edges. It's a really, really cool ink stain effect that you can create yourself. And that is how to do it. And this is how simple it actually is. All right, guys. So that's it for this video. Now you guys know how to create these really, really really cool ink transitions in Vegas Pro 18. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below. Let me also know in the comments down below what you want to see more in Vegas Pro 18. I'll check on that and see if I can create some really, really interesting topics. So guys, thanks a lot for the continued support throughout the years and I'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video.